Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about this pivot editing menu. So this here, and it's a very confusing topic. Okay, but I try to explain it. So so I add a, a sphere. We need a example object, and. Here on the left side, you see here the reset options. So, but first, I explain something. So, I validate this uh, sphere and then I use the move tool. So, like this here. And now I turn symmetry off. So, I stretch it here like this. Now I activate the gizmo tool and you see here, um, here is the original so pivot point. So I add again a sphere and you see here, this is aligned um, with the, sorry. So this is a pivot thing. Okay. So you see here, this is the old position of this object here. So this is a pivot point at the moment. But there are two pivot points. So this is pivot one. And here the center option is pivot two. And this pivot is the, the middle midpoint of the whole mesh. So, and it changes. So when I move here um, the, the mesh a little bit and tap here again on center, then the pivot moves a little bit. So here to this position. And the other pivot point here stays at this position. So the object pivot point is here. So remember two pivot points and it's important so another example here so this mesh here has different um, separate meshes so you see here the eye mesh so here is the pivot point of this mesh and now I'm selecting here in the outliner all meshes here and the eye mesh is highlighted the eye mesh is highlighted but you see here the pivot point is at the center of the object not here so when you press now voxel remesh you see here your pivot point one is here and the object pivot point is centered to the eye position. So this things you have to remember and know uh, when problems appear. So, um, so I go a few steps back and when you join or voxel remesh this thing here, keep the order, um, you want to keep the um, the pivot point. So when I join this mesh now and press object center, then it is on this position. So yeah, it's not so easy to understand. And another thing here is, so here at the moment here uh, the object here is in the center so when you sorry i have to deselect the pivot option so move it so here is the world center and you move it to to the side or somewhere else and then at the moment here the object pivot is the same as center but as soon as you bake the new matrix position here, bake, then you see here this pop-ups here. 
so mesh to gizmo position or so because now your object has um, the old pivot position after baking so you have to bring it back to the center and bake here the the pivot position so it's a really complex topic and um, so and the other things here are clear so when you move here the um, um, the pivot and maybe you rotate it so the align means the pivot is aligned when you press center it moves it to the center position so but but the rotation is kept so and the auto rotates everything back and brings it to the center position and bottom to the bottom position so and the object the object position is could be different so here you when you bake this here then the center position is here the object pivot is here and yeah that's it um, I hope you get it so <laughs> I can't say more um, just have fun with sculpting ciao